This is one of our ultralight KFOs. It's a Noodle TA AFO, which directly integrates into our femoral component using our knee spikes, our polycentric knee joint, which gives us ultralight qualities, but also great rotational control um, plus extension control for knee hyperextension. Now this is a dynamic device because we use the Noodle TA, and so there will be some energy absorbed and released in the ankle complex. But it's an ultralight system, weighing about three pounds, very easy for the patient to don and use. Sometimes we want an articulated AFO or something that has a joint in the ankle section to simulate somebody's natural motion as closely as possible. In this case, we're using it specifically to hold the knee component in place and prevent it from rotating and sliding down. We can also put in a little bit of medial lateral control or do different things in the ankle section as we're doing it. And you can see that in this case, we've got quite a bit of varus in the knee and ankle of that patient. That's why they're, they're using a full CAFO. This is an example of our premium CAFO. Now it's built much heavier duty, even though it's lightweight relative to what it's doing, it's a significantly heavier layup because we have a locking mechanism that we've integrated into the knee component. And so this is a very classic orthotic design where we have a, a drop lock that just locks that knee in position. Now in this particular case, we have a camouflage design that we've placed into our composite just for cosmetics. This is a posterior leaf AFO, so it is going to have some dynamic properties to it. I believe this is fabricated for someone with post-polio. You can see the thin uh, thigh, very atrophied, and they require that locking mechanism for knee control. This is an example of a premium device where we have a valga noodle on the AFO section with an anterior shell, and we're integrated into the femoral component using a free motion joint, but we've got what we call a step-through entry. So in order for the patient to don this device, they would flex that knee all the way down, slip through, strap themselves on, and then they're good to go. Now this has the valga noodle on the AFO section, which is set on the medial side, and we have our valga noodle reverse T to control ankle varus. This device weighs about three pounds. It's very lightweight for the job that it's doing.